Hey, this is Callagher. Today we're taking a look at this poor old 1981 Mercedes 380 SLC. There she is. Let's take a look at it. This is a third generation Mercedes SL class on the R107 and C107 personal luxury car platform. R for the convertibles and C for the hardtops. They ran from 1971 through 1989 with very little appearance changes over its lengthy 19 year run. First spotted six months later than the SL at the Paris Auto Show in 1971, these SLCs and SLs were the first SL class cars to be offered with V8 engines. This one in particular is powered by an underwhelming 3.8 liter V8 producing 215 horsepower and 221 foot-pounds of torque made into a four-speed automatic transmission. Interestingly enough, the Malays era 1981 380 SL is the least powerful of the U.S. market 107 platform cars, though many prefer it for being more, quote, lively than the 4.5 liter. The 3.8 liter engine also plagued these cars with timing chain issues, though most have had the appropriate repairs made by now. A total of 62,888 SLCs were manufactured, though you don't see them too often, as their convertible sisters received most of the praise and affection. Most SLCs end up in places such as this, though a lot of that had to do with rust issues as well. This old girl does not have all the same body lines or the ability to give you the thrill of wind through your hair on a nice day as her SL counterparts. This, among some other things, helped these cars go nearly extinct. This one was a pleasure to see. Let's get back to checking her over. Unfortunately, she's seen some better days. You can already see some spots of very terrible body repair in the front there. The rest of it's not too bad, uh, but unfortunately there is some rust that I'll show you here in just a moment. Haven't looked too much into it, but it's definitely a Mercedes. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you know, Mercedes model make all sorts of stuff but i don't mean just that i mean in appearance in certain quality of certain things but then again there are some parts that the quality might surprise you in that it's pretty low let's dive into this thing first off you've got lovely chrome door handles i dig the wheels they're on a small side what size are these mmm tasty let's see these are 14s you can see here though, look at the rust up in here. It's too bad. Get a close up at this here. I think I've got, no, I, yes I do. Still solid. Ooh. Straight Bondo. And this thing is just garbage. Look at this. It's all plasticky and rippling and bubbling up. I don't know if you can see that, but no bueno. These things are kind of interesting here. The other side has not aged well. Let's check out what's in the trunk. Lovely, lovely trunk. Really and truly. Somewhat small in size. wonder how the uh, convertible SL models may do. With this little bitty size here. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and set that back down. Plenty of my stuffs. Looks like there's the fuel tank right there. Let's go ahead and check out this interior. I'm not sure if I've sat in one of these or not. Door panel is gone. Leather's held up relatively well for its age. Nice solid wood. Ashtray combo. Cassette player. There was the face to it. Neat. Ugh. Neato. This is a classy car. Yeah, that continued there. This was nice. Brake release. Interesting. Ooh, those are stiff. Yes, they are. Power window controls in the center where they shouldn't be. It does have an armrest, which was nice at one point. And let's look at the back. Comes up pretty easy. There's some nice stuff down there, so I don't think I'm gonna go two to town. But yeah, look at this. Look at how it's just shredding in that window. And it's like 
double layered so you can't clean it out unfortunately it's kind of a a fault still dual ashtrays back here and as well as the little first day oh it's still there oh my goodness is the stuff still in it all right i gotta get out of the mousy part let's check this out oh god dang it no way wow handbook of first aid why do they have to make this out of plastic i'd buy it <laughs> okay well that used to say the contents interesting wow this has got to be desirable for somebody i'm not going to break it anymore reorder form <laughs> wow for back then this is kind of expensive i think dang Got everything look at this how this ink is just coming off all right i'm gonna stop damaging it put that back in there Somebody might want this. I'm sorry for... Here. Put it right there. Anyway. Anyway. Interesting find. Let's, uh... Let's continue on. Got some more Bondo here, unfortunately. Curious as to how much. A fair bit, but not too, too bad. Let's look under the hood. See what we've got there. Wow, that goes up really easy. Looks like a Mercedes V8. Wow, look at that. Mechanical, I think. Uh, it's gotta be. Mechanical fuel injection probably why it's here also look at that i believe chevrolet uh interior vent interestingly enough yep and a busted golf club does it look down whoa it's like a toilet plunger that is interesting i'd never worked on one of these well that's probably going to be it get one more glamour shot of what's left of the interior Feel this good door handle one more time. Oh man, these doors and the trunk are just fantastic. <laughs> you know why they did this? It's because they had to get the gauge cluster out. <laughs> there's an easy, or there's uh, another way to do it, but that is the easy way. All right, thanks for watching. On to the next vehicle.